Ooh la la. Welcome to our channel. I am Fox Gaming Vixen Roxy. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful and entertaining. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section and we will do our best to answer them. Painted World is an optional zone in Dark Souls. It does have some unique loot and one of the best power leveling locations in the game. You are trapped in the zone once you enter it. With our help, we will get you out of this truly wonderful zone. So grab your spear, greaves, and amulet. Let's get started. We start the painting above the Dark Moon Bonfire in the cathedral with the white robed painted guardians. You need the peculiar doll from the asylum in the room you start the game to enter. Examine the painting to enter the zone. Head to the bonfire and rest. Take out the hollows guarding the door. Shoot down the corpse and loot the humanity. Head up the stairs and take out the hollows. Take out the fire breathers being careful of their toxic cloud. Head back to the stairs on the right, taking out the hollows. Loot corpse and take out harpies that arrive. Drop off the ledge and loot. Take out rats. Head back upstairs and head over to the next building. Take out hollows. Take out the first two fire throwers at the doorway. Go in the room and take out the other. Head up the stairs and kill the last with range. Jump to the corpse and loot. Go down the ladder, killing hollow. Head downstairs and kill rats. Loot chest. Head upstairs and cut corpse down on balcony. Head to the next building. Start heading up the stairs, taking out harpies along the way. Be wary of their leap attack. Loot corpse, which is the RSD soapstone for PvP. Head back down the stairs. Loot the two corpses on the bridge and run back to the stairs. Snipe Dracolich, it drops a dragon scale. Do a jump attack to open shortcut. Club R2 attacks work well. Head back and take the stairs to the fog door. Head through the fog and open the double doors. Now take out the phalanx. Loot the two corpses. Head down the well. Wheel skeletons can be pulled by peeking. Keep your shield up and wait for them to stop spinning before attacking. Make your way around the maze, killing skellies and collecting loot. You are looking for the annex key. It is guarded by a skelly at the end of a hallway. key and head out through the well. Stay to your right and go up the stairs.
clear out hollows. Go down the ladder. Pull the wheels one at a time, keeping your shield up when they charge using their spin attack. You can sidestep them and they will get stuck in the space by the ladder. Attack them once they stop spinning. Once cleared, loot the corpses and turn the handle. The handle opens the way to the boss's room. Head out of the sewer and over to the annex. Snipe the flamethrower. Go left and upstairs, taking out another flamethrower. Take out harpies and loot corpse. Back downstairs and left to loot another corpse. Back to the annex entrance. Roll through boards and loot corpse. Finish off last flamethrower and loot dark ember. Head back to phalanx area. Pull hollows to the stairs to finish them, being careful not to go too far past the stairs. Hug the wall on the right and go around the corner to loot the corpse. Pull any remaining hollows. Loot corpses around the area, which will spawn King Jeremiah. Jeremiah casts chaos spells like Chaos Storm and Chaos Fireball. Stay behind the cages until he runs out of spells. Once he pulls out his whip, move in to finish him off. Time to head to the boss, taking out mobs on the way. Boss is not hostile. <laughs> Jeremiah's armor will spawn here if you finished him. Quit and reload to spawn it. Drop off ledge to exit the zone, back into the painting room in Anorlando. have included the boss fight. This boss fight is optional. She will disappear once attacked. You can see her footprints in the snow to find her location. She has a big bleed attack, so watch your meter that it doesn't build up too much. Circle around the arena and attack when you can. She drops pretty easily and is easy enough to locate once you get your bleed meter to a safe area. We tried for a tail cut, but just missed it.
<laughs> that King Jeremiah sure had some odd armor. Be sure to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. You will be notified when we release other entertaining videos. Ask us in the comment section for other tutorials you might want to see. Thank you for watching. <sighs> Ooh la la.